Hello, Earth citizens. My name is Chris. I'm a brain education instructor from Torrance, California. Thank you for joining me for this sixth session for our April Cades series. Uh, the April Cades is a very ancient form of Qigong and often used in medical Qigong for improving our health and well-being. So today we're going to go through that sixth flow, which is called clenching fists and staring fiercely, sometimes angrily. So the intention of our eyes can be very powerful here. So uh, if I'm looking at you meanly, that's part of the flow. <laughs> so don't take it personally, please. So let's go ahead and start our practice. Bring your feet about shoulder width. Good. And just start to gently bounce. Really seal your feet to the earth. Exaggerate the knees, hips, and shoulders. Good. We want to connect mind to body. Through vibration, we can feel the condition of our body. The mind is pulled towards that discomfort. So where you feel discomfort, focus there. Put your mind there and shake there a little bit more. Good. Let your body twist or lean or sway. Good. Take the insight from your body. Breathing out through your mouth to release that stress and tension. Good. Starting to really assess our condition. Good job. And slowly stop bouncing. Just a little buzz and tingle. And then it's going to bring our feet very close together. This is our zero point, our home base. So plant your feet. A little bend in your knees, a tuck of the tailbone, a lift of the stern, and then reach the crown for the sky. And let your arms hang gently. A little space under the armpits helps to keep you from creating more tension. Expand. Now, as you breathe in, feel the energy expand through your body. And as you exhale, release. So as we stack the bones well, the muscles relax. Eventually, with good energy flow, we feel effortless to stand. So feel the pressing of the earth, the reaching for the crown, breathe in fully expanding. Exhale completely. Breathe in fully. And exhale. Good. Let's shift our weight onto our left foot. I'm mirroring for your convenience. Open your feet wide. We're coming into a wide horse stance. For the wide horse stance, we want to press the feet. Keep your feet parallel if you can. If you need to open them for comfort, that's okay. And then push your knees out and wide. Don't want to collapse on the horse. Open wide. And then tuck your tailbone. Feel the strength in your legs. And depending on your condition, will determine how tall or how deep you can go into your horse stance. So find that place that's challenging but doable for you. Lift your heart. Ah, now we're going to make gentle fists, clenching our fists. So you want to squeeze with a little bit of vigor and then you're going to pull your elbows back and your hands, sides of your hands are going to touch your ribs. Now your elbows don't want to flare outside and you don't want to squeeze so much. There's a perfect spot where your shoulders can relax and your elbows are pulled back. So here, as we set in, then that fierce gaze, looking out as far as you can. Now, as you exhale, you're going to take your left hand and you're going to punch. It's going to rotate right in front of your heart. So very much in your center line. As I push my fist out, I can pull my elbow back on the other side. It's going to bring a more spiral through my spine. Good. Feel that stretch. This one is good for strength and vitality of our body, for energy and blood flow. Now, when we start to Inhale, we're going to open our hand, spiral it, and curl the fingers like you're clenching that fist again. And then as you inhale, you're pulling that fist in right back into the rib cage. Your next exhale, you're going to punch with the other hand, spiraling. Palm faces down, reaching further. You can pull the elbow back, get a little bit more spiral, still glaring fiercely. Good. When it's time to inhale, opening the hand. Spiraling, curling the fingers, and pulling in. So very simple flow, but very powerful. Exhale. Inhale. Pulling in the power. Releasing. Inhale. 
So find your breath. As you inhale, you're pulling. As you exhale, you're pushing. Now, depending on your condition, you might feel that you want to start to sink deeper. As you punch, you can sink for a little bit more strength and vitality. As you pull, you might come up a little bit. It's for you to listen to your body, to challenge at the level that's appropriate today. Today might be harder than yesterday. It might be easier than yesterday. Tomorrow might be harder than today. So it's always listening to our body. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So a lot of heat can be generated, growing a lot of strength in that lower body, which is the key for our vitality. Strong legs equal a strong heart, helping to create more and more blood flow and energy flow. Enjoy that burning. Let your hands float down. We're going to gather this energy and come back to our home space. Feet closed, knees bent, tuck the tailbone, lift up. Sternum a little bit. Let the arms flow and close your eyes if you're comfortable. As you press your feet to the earth, you reach your crown for the sky. Feel the circulation. Does your body feel warmer, cooler, lighter, heavier, stronger, weaker, maybe tired? All sensations are good. They're your body changing. Breathe in, expanding. Exhale. Release. Deep breath in. And out. And now you can rub your palms. Feel the sensation in your palms. Feel the sensation in your palms. Arms, your legs, you can sweep off your body. Legs might be a little heavy, you might need to shake them out a little bit, wrap them up. Good. So, dusting away any of that heavy energy that you're feeling. Good. So, feel the new strength and vitality in your body. So, thank you for joining today for our sixth session of our eight brocade. So, please keep an eye out for the other seven videos and the full flow that will be released as well. If you'd like to try a full one hour brain education based class, please check the local Body and Brain Center near you. If you're not near a Body and Brain Center, please look into the online memberships through Brain Education TV. Thank you.